Yes, I'm Michael Acton Smith. I run a game studio in London called Mind Candy, and uh, our monster hit is a game called Moshi Monsters, which is the world of adoptable pet monsters. Okay, so tell us, tell us a bit about it. I know that um, there's some incredible figures around it. Yes, so Moshi Monsters is sort of a cross between Tamagotchi and Facebook for kids. Uh, it's for seven, sort of, no, six to 11 year olds, um, girls and boys. And we've got almost 40 million registered users. Uh, we get one new sign up every second. Uh, it's in 200 countries around the world. And uh, yeah, kids can upload their artwork, they play games, they do educational puzzles, they write stories, they go on missions. Huge amount of fun stuff to do in this world. And uh, now we're kind of spilling offline. So we've done toy deals, book deals, magazine, uh, video game, a whole host of other fun stuff to expand the, the universe. And yeah, we're having a lot of fun with it. So how, how do you make sure it's safe? So s safety is very, very important. You know, we take our responsibility very, very seriously. Uh, we have a big, big moderation team, uh, and uh, we use software to check for certain messages uh, to prevent PO personally identifiable information. We encourage kids to behave safely online, to report anything they see as inappropriate, and uh, so far uh, we think we're doing a, a great job on that side of things. And parents feel very comfortable with their children spending time at Moshi rather than on the, the wilds of the open web, like YouTube or Facebook. Facebook or sites that are not designed for them. Okay, so a lot of what we see here at MIPS is um, there's a TV show first, yeah. and then there's the, the merchandise, and then there's the website, and that sort of thing. You're, you're doing it the other way around. Yeah, we're, we're being a little bit topsy-turvy about everything. But you know what? When the website is the heartbeat of your property, it changes everything. Because, um, you know, traditionally it's been a TV show or a film, but kids don't have to wait for their TV show to come on TV or wait for the film release. They can go on our site anytime they want. They can connect with millions of other kids around the world. We can connect with them directly. And uh, we can look at what they like and what they don't like. And so we can build an experience that's designed that they want rather than what we think they want, if that, if that makes sense. And as I say, it just changes everything. So um, we think the most successful kids' properties of the future will originate online. And uh, yeah, we're one of the first to, to kind of uh, be paddling around in those waters. Great. So tell me a bit more about Moshi TV. So kids love... Uh, communicating and showing off and sharing with their friends online. They love games and they also love video. And uh, you know, we do the socializing and the games very well. We don't have video yet. And so we thought that would be a smart area to go. So we have about 7 million monthly unique visitors. That's pretty, you know, that's getting up near some of the major broadcasters. And we can show our audience content. And the key thing is the social layer that's wrapped around it allows them to leave comments, to like something that will publish to their newsfeed, which will drive the virality. So rather than a commissioning editor that decides what goes on TV, kids decide. And the best content bubbles up, the less exciting stuff bubbles down. So a producer of content that can't get on TV can put it on Moshi TV. Very simple, very low friction and if it resonates they'll know within 24 hours. We can help co-finance the longer production, we can take some of the back-end licensing rights and as I say we think it's extremely revolutionary and uh, we're in the early days but um, yeah it's been a fun journey. Brilliant, so what about, is it, you're going to be making content for Moshi TV which will be online, what about having that content on more traditional TV? Yeah, well, you know, we looked into this. We've been approached by a lot of partners to turn Moshi the Game into a TV show. And I just can't get my head around it. Millions and millions of dollars, many years, then you cross your fingers and you hope you get on a broadcast platform. Then you don't know where it'll stay and whether it'll be moved around. It just, I just, I, unless I'm missing something, it, it seems a little bit broken. And so with this model, you know, everything changes. So we can create content ourselves or use animation studios. And we can put stuff directly up online at YouTube or at Moshi TV. And, uh, and then, as I say, no, very quickly whether it resonates or not. And kids are so comfortable with this. Uh, we can put content on iPads or internet-enabled TV. And I think this is the, the future that this digital generation are going to grow up into and already experiencing, rather than being sat on a sofa, being broadcast to. Just, it doesn't make sense. So, Kids as commissioners, then. 
absolutely, why not? Why not? They're the ones consuming the content. Why should we not um, let them decide rather than, you know, commissioning editors, as wonderful as they are, um, you know, it's it, the kids should. And online, you don't have the broadcast slot limitations that you do in traditional TV. So it's very, very cheap and very simple for us to put a lot of content up online. And uh, as long as we get the discovery mechanisms working well, uh, then, um, yeah, it, it, we hope it's going to work. So we shall see. Great. Thanks very much. Thank you.